Let's circuit bend a glitch cam. Here's the stuff we'll need. First, we need a digital camera. These toy cameras from your favorite oligarch's website work great. Here's all the bits and tools that we'll need for this project. First, we need to open it up and find the sensor connector. It's this little doodad here. Next, we attach the Easy Mode Glitch Cam Breakout Board. You don't have to use one of these, but it's way easier than soldering to the tiny pins. You just sandwich it between the sensor cable and the connector. You might need to use a bit of force to squeeze everything into the connector, but it should fit. Make sure the sensor and breakout board are pushed all the way in. Lining it up just right can be tricky, so give it a quick test. If it freezes up, like so, just reseat it until you get everything working. Now we identify our bend points. Start by checking the voltage of each point and stay away from the pins that have the highest voltage. They might be super close. On this board, we would stay away from 3.31 volts, but the 3.28 volt points were totally fine. Next, try out different pin combinations to find glitches. I'm using tweezers to short them out, but you can use jumpers or a resistor, whatever works for you. I'll share mine later as an example, but I definitely encourage you to experiment here. Circuit bending is all about exploring and building your own unique thing, not just following a plan from some guy on the internet. Next, we're gonna mount our controls and wire everything up. First, I mark where I want things to go, then I drill and clean up the holes before mounting the hardware. Finally, always do a test fit to make sure everything will fit together before you start soldering. I ended up needing to move the battery a bit. It's just stuck on there with foam tape, but after that, it all fit great. Home stretch, time to solder. As you can see, the breakout board makes this part way easier, and I've tried to make them super affordable too. Anyway, I'm gonna mostly skip through this, but I do have a full length video that shows this part in a lot more detail. And as promised, here's the schematic for my build. It's way cooler to figure out your own design, but hopefully this example helps, especially if you're brand new to this sort of thing. And done. Before we close it up, test to make sure everything works. Once it's working good, you can use a bit of hot glue to keep the board from scooching around in the future. Now, just close it up, decorate it, and go take some shots. If you like this stuff, definitely follow along for more. And feel free to tag me with your builds and glitch photos too. I'd love to see them. Catch you later.